Letters of rec. Everyone needs them to get into grad school. Why does it feel so hard and sometimes awkward to get them? I'll walk you through how to form those relationships and get those letters of rec. My first tip is to get to know your TAs. They're probably more approachable, they're recently in your shoes, and can be a bridge to your professor. Ask them for career and grad school advice and how they got to where they are. They may be able to give you good tips based on your particular situation. If you're interested in a research-based program, like some masters and the PhD, they are currently doing that, so they'll be the inside scoop. You can ask them how you might be able to get a letter from that professor that they work for, since they work closely with them, so they'll have a better idea of what the professor looks for, or what they've looked for in the past. If you know them well enough, you can also try to ask your TA for a letter or if they can write one with the professor. Usually TAs want to help their students in whatever way they can in this kind of situation, so it doesn't hurt to ask. If the answer is no, they should at least be able to point you towards other steps that you can take. What do you do if you don't really know any professors? My advice, again, is to ask them for career and grad school advice. Email them to ask to meet and chat about their career path or advice for your career path, grad programs to look into that they might recommend, or research labs that they know of that they can suggest based on your interests. It's a win-win because they can help you get to your next step with their advice from having been through it themselves. And they'll get to know you on a more personal level. So form that relationship, show initiative, and ask for a letter once you feel you're at that point. That might be when you know they know who you are. And maybe also some good characteristics or qualities about you as a student or a researcher, etc. that they could vouch for you. You're also going to provide them more materials regardless, for example your transcripts, potentially points that you want them to touch on in the letter, application drafts, so they don't have to know everything about you at that point. Now if you're already in a research lab, ask your PI. If you have a mentor, a grad student, or a postdoc, ask them about it. Ask them for a letter and they'll let you know how the PI usually goes about it. Either the mentor will write it or they'll write it together. Sometimes you will provide a draft or the PI will write it. So now I'll get into how do you get to know your research lab PI. This will depend on the lab. Sometimes they'll have some sort of metric to get to know the involvement of their students. We had a quarterly research summary where my PI got to see my writing skills. They will usually ask your mentor either to write something or ask specific questions, or they will go off of your interactions. My lab was big, so I didn't get to interact with the PI much until I worked as a full-time lab tech. And even then, it was hard to participate in meetings without the confidence or experience of a grad student. But showing good work ethic and attention maybe asking a question, taking initiative, and trying to let them get to know you. For example, fill them in on what your post-grad plans are, what your research interests are, maybe you're from the same hometown. I actually had a professor who grew up in my hometown and my grandpa taught her math in high school decades ago. You never know how you might connect. This is the beginning of your networking. Another way to get a letter is to go to your professor's office hours and actively participate and ask questions. Make sure to put a name to the face at some point. And if the office hours are really crowded, see if you could get an individual meeting to ask more questions about the class, but to also talk about their research or the field, or again, career advice to work in that field. Even if it's not necessarily what you want, but they can point you in the right direction for steps you can take. It doesn't really take much to show effort. An impressive email and one meeting could be enough to make you stand out. The advice I would always hear was ask them about their research, they love talking about it. This might be hard to carry on a conversation between the two of you, especially if it's not a field you're interested in or familiar with. So I would say only do this if it is research or a field you're genuinely interested in, and then it will show as you chat about it. Who else can you ask? Now this will depend on the type of grad program. I'm specifically talking here about masters and PhD research-based programs since that's what I have most experience with. Health professions, you'll need things that are more clinical related if you volunteered at a hospital or a clinic, for example. But the application will usually tell you what kind of mentors you can have as letter writers. Another option for these research-based programs is to volunteer to be a learning assistant and get to know the professor for that class. That's one letter that I got, plus asking her for career advice in a couple individual meetings. Also, any internships with research experience. I did a small research internship for a study abroad and got a letter from that PI. If you have a leadership position with an organization or a club and a professor works with or sponsors that org, you can ask them. 
but for a research-based program, it will likely need to be a research-related org where they have some idea about what your goals and abilities are as a researcher or a student. Okay, very important is to try to be genuine about it. They know students need letters, but it shows when that's all you want from them and you're just going through the motions. They're more likely to write you a strong letter if they truly feel you're a passionate, motivated, curious student, and that will show by your conversations and actions. In undergrad, I saw a student awkwardly give my professor of a thousand plus bio majors a handwritten card and a gift card at the end of office hours, potentially a little bit of a kiss up to get a letter, and maybe they had formed a meaningful relationship, but by his reaction, it wasn't apparent, but I cringe thinking of that possibly being one of their only interactions. All right, down to the nitty gritty of asking for the letter. Give them a lot of time in advance at least three weeks, but the more you can do, the better. In my experience, two months is safe and a generous amount. If needed, in the email or when you're talking to them, remind them of how you know each other and if there's anything that you connected on or if there's something that inspired you from their class so that it's not just a dull, lifeless email. This is also how you will network in the future, so start building those skills now. Let them know you're applying to grad school for X programs and you can include the number of programs for Y purpose. For example, to continue learning about Alzheimer's research or to specify the fields you're going into. Give them a short reason for why they might make a good letter writer for you. Because being a student in and a learning assistant for your course led to my interest in the graduate programs I'll apply to. Ask if they're willing to write a strong letter. Say the word strong, it's important. If they don't feel like they can, they will likely say no and you don't want anyone to write a weak letter. Offer to give them additional materials, your resume, statement of purpose, etc. to use for writing the letter. I would wait to send it until they say yes. Here's an example email. I hope all is well in the lab. I'm currently applying to grad school for PhD programs in immunology or cancer biology. I was wondering if you would be able to write me a letter of recommendation for my applications. I'm applying to six schools, but the letter prompt is similar for each school. I enjoyed working in your lab and appreciated the exposure to blank research that it gave me. Please let me know and I can give you more details and relevant materials, resume, transcript, if needed, and thank them. I actually just went to go look and see if I had past examples of emails. One was actually the one I just read basically as an example template. I realized that I did ask one or two people in person. You just have to plan to go in there, know what you're roughly gonna say, and just be kind, genuine, and let them know your situation. Ask them, would you be willing to write me a letter of recommendation? And of course, thank them. They said yes. Now what? Make their job easy. Give them reminders halfway and close to the deadline. They may even ask you to remind them. Lay out which schools you're applying to, to which program, how many schools, the deadlines, and where they will be uploading. It's usually on the online system for that school. You can create a spreadsheet or a table for them if you want to make it even easier to keep track of. They're probably already familiar with this process from the past, so it should be pretty straightforward. Send them your resume or CV, transcripts, and when you have drafts of your application essays, send those. This doesn't have to be right away or the final drafts, but ideally as soon as possible with a solid draft. You should be working on those as early as possible anyways. Let them know what you want to highlight from your materials. Lay it out for them, for example, in bullet points so they know why you're applying there or which experience to emphasize. You can make these slightly different for each letter writer so that they're collectively covering all the bases of what skills you want them to talk about. And likely they will be different for each experience since each relationship was a different experience or situation. Also good to know they will likely use the same letter for each school, but let them know if any particular school needs emphasis on something specific, like leadership or diversity. They may have your mentor or TA write or co-write a letter. They may also ask you to write the letter or a draft of the letter. This can feel really weird and awkward, but it does happen and more often in grad school actually. You can find advice or templates online or ask a mentor or TA for their advice in writing it. I personally haven't had to do this too much, but I can look into it more if anyone wants to learn about effective ways to do this. You can also always start with ChatGPT to give you a great draft or outline with your given points that you want to touch on. And then you can also have it in a tone of a professor or of your mentor. Remember that professors are busy people. They will likely need to be reminded or emailed multiple times before hearing from them, even in the process of asking them. I would give them about a week to respond before trying to ask them again. So that's why you definitely want to leave enough time before you actually want those letters in case you need to nudge them a few times. And don't 
don't take it personally, this is normal. Do what you need to do to reach those letter deadlines and keep it professional and respectful. And when the deadlines do come, double and triple check that their letters are in. It will say on the online application system. Of course, thank them. Keep them updated if you do get into any schools to keep that connection. They will likely need to give you more letters of rec for things in the future. For example, the NSF fellowship application, other funding, etc. So keep that connection and they will have their letter template for future use. There are so many different types of grad programs to apply to. It could be hard to know which one is for you. Watch my video on the difference between masters and PhD programs in biology to hear about the difference between these two programs. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. There's a spider. Let's hang down from the window. Cool. Go back up. It's like, it's like. No, okay, I have to play. I think he's playing dead now.